I'm in the right live now. Okay. Um, listen, I was just going upstairs to go do something and in my feed comes something from, um, save the drama. And you know, this coupled with something, okay, let me explain what's going on. For those of you that are not aware, country Joe, and I didn't watch the video, apparently, uh, is heart their heart is bigger than anything else. And they went on and they wanted to offer condolences. Hold on, I've got to let my dog in. Condolences to Natasha. Now, while they were there, I guess they went in the live stream. I don't know, I didn't watch the video. I only know what I heard. Come on, come on, come on, get in. So, Hold on, I've got to shut this door over here. No, no, guys, come here. Come on. Get in the kitchen. Come on. Of course, loose. Get in the kitchen. So while, while I, what, again, I was not there, and if Country Joe is here and wants to come on and explain, you're more than welcome to come on up. But here's what I'm going to tell you, because this has opened up a can of worms, and you know what it is? Once again, once again, MRB is blamed for whatever happens. MRB is blamed for it. Whether MRB is there or not, MRB is blamed. And worse than that, worse than that, these people. Okay, well, let me explain. I'm getting ahead of myself. So apparently the, he, she, she, they sang a song up there. The next day, there were people that were really, really upset about it. But then... Country Joe had a live chat and I went into that live chat to say hello and I was attacked in that live chat. I was attacked in that live chat and Country Joe's place no longer became a place where I felt comfortable because it had been invaded by Natasha's people, the very people that were on other um, streams and in Natasha's tearing me apart and asking, you know, agreeing with this person that said CPS should be called on me and all of this stuff. They were there cheerleading over there in those channels. And you know what? It hurt. It hurt. And I'm not going to lie. And I walked away from that channel. I said, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I can't be this there. The people like River Rat and the Lisa Lanes and the Linda, whatever she is, who's, who's so beyond nasty so beyond nasty in the real clear channels and everything else calling for attacks on me, applauding them, saying they can't wait for another hate video to drop. We're all attacking me. I got out of the chat that day. I didn't go back. Today, there was another live stream. And it saddened me to no end to see exactly what the plan was. Oh, and then, and then let me say, Natasha ended up in Country Joe's chat that day too, which turned off a lot of people. Country Joe had a lot of backlash from it, a lot of backlash. A lot of people canceled their subscriptions. A lot of people canceled their memberships. They said, I cannot be in a chat that supports Natasha. You know, it's one thing to feel sorry for someone about a loss, but it's another entire thing to forget what this person has done to people in this community and to destroy a community where they felt safe. Now, people also left comments alerting Country Joe that, Country Joe, you have to understand what she's doing. She's a manipulator. She may not be book smart, but she knows how to manipulate. And what she did is she went in there and she rallied them all together and said, look, now that we got, you know, now that Country Joe came on here, we are going to go over there and invade their chat. And it's going to split apart Country Joe's community because she doesn't like Country Joe. She doesn't like Country Joe. But this is a way she can destroy their community without 
her hands looking dirty, even though her hands are the dirtiest. She has the dirtiest hands, the dirtiest hands. And she did the same thing that she did with uh, Truth Teller. Remember when she appeared on Truth Teller's panel and she said, oh, I don't know why I'm here. My mods just said, I have to go here. She does the same script, the same freaking game. And when are you guys going to open your eyes? When are you guys going to open your eyes? She tore apart CJ's community in two freaking days. She destroyed it. And not only did she destroy it, she got some people to forget what she did. So it was infiltrated today with all of these people. And they were like, oh, can't bygones be bygones? Can't we just all get along? No, they don't want to get along. They're not getting along on other channels where they're ripping me apart and ripping others apart. No, they're not. They were sent there. They were sent there by her. And when it got to a point she was ready to get on panel, Country Joe just closed the live rather than address what was happening. And Country Joe, you're going to have to address it. Whether you don't address it today, it's still going to be there tomorrow. And the whole plan is set in action that the people were already, they were so together watching this from probably their loyalty chat or their Discord or whatever they're all together and watching this because they're Every comment came just like the other ones. Oh, I guess we're not welcome here then. Well, we tried, and they, they tried to um, disband when anything was called out. And then the leader came in there, and I imagine she wanted to get on panel, which caused Country Joe to abruptly end the live stream. But this is what's going to happen. It's two things. It's already happened. It's already divided the community. There's already been the people that have unsubbed and, un and disbanded their members, uh, discontinued their memberships. That's already happened. But then the infiltration of Natasha's minions began. And it drove out more people. And as soon as they finish driving out a few more people, they are going to leave in a huff. Because they don't want to be there and she doesn't want them there. Okay. She had someone come on and, and ask if uh, Country Joe would go back to. Would go back to. Of course. Of course there were subs gained. Mom Ames. But it doesn't last because as soon as. They don't participate in this. They're gone. So they've already been asked to go back on karaoke. Which. Country Joe sidestepped that whole issue, but told Dorothy today he would not go on panel again with her. But the thing is, if they don't, and if they don't allow Natasha to be talked about glowingly in there, they're going to pack their bags and leave. So it's a conditional supporting of this person and it's another channel that they've taken over. Robin, did you see what happened today in there? Did you see what happened today in there? Did you see how many of the um, loyal members of the Country Joe community left? Did you see that? Did you feel comfortable in that chat? I know I didn't. I know others didn't. I didn't even type in there because the same people that are ripping me apart in other channels are on there. And the same people that are ripping other people on, apart are in there. And then Natasha came in there. Do you want to sit in a panel with Natasha on it? Do you want to sit in a community with Natasha in it? If you're comfortable with that, I don't know what to tell you. But the majority of Country Joe's community was not comfortable with Natasha coming in. It's Truth Teller 2.0. This was today. Yes, Mama Ames, this was today. 
I feel bad for Country Joe also, Robin. Country Joe was played. I feel bad also. I'm trying to educate Country Joe on what she's doing because I've seen her do this over and over. She is a manipulator. She used Country Joe. She took over his channel to get her word out. As soon as Tammy came up, Tammy, not Tammy McD, Tammy from Natasha's, who used to be with Natasha, who um, Natasha went after her mother in a really vile, nasty way. As soon as she went up on the panel to explain why she did not feel comfortable being in that chat, all of this Natasha supporters started to go and say, oh, stop talking about that, Tammy. That was a long time. It wasn't a long time ago. It was a couple of weeks ago. They started parroting each other, parroting each other. Oh, she apologized for that. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, she apologized. It was, it was hellacious. Country Joe's own wrenches said that they were leaving. Okay? They said they were leaving. Now, she came into the chat. And Country Joe didn't know what to do, so he ended the live. He ended the live. But that's not going to take care of the problem. Because you can't ride the fence. You cannot ride the offense. And I know a lot of people think, oh, I can be Switzerland or, you know, I can have everybody here and everything will be fine. But you can't when they've been hurt by someone like Natasha. Okay. That's when you have to stand up for what you believe in. And if you're truly have empathy for the people that were hurt by this woman and that don't want to sit down with her and don't want to be in a community chatting with her and those that do her dirty, nasty work, then you have to stand up. Then you have to stand up. Whatever gender they identify with, N Nana Patty, that's not, the, that's not the point here, okay? That's not the point here. We're talking about what happened today. Okay? So now it's gotten to the point that it's alienated many in the community, caused them to leave. People thought it was a safe place. People thought it was a fun place. I did. I thought it was a nice place. I can't chat there anymore. Sorry, I'm not going to do it. Not with people like that Lisa Lane who is there ripping me apart every time she can. Not when River Rat is there who's on all these hate channels. Not when these people in here that are the most vile, nasty people and said the most hateful things are there. Am I going to feel comfortable chatting in there? I'm not. I'm not going to. And that's, you know, I'm not going to tell them, oh, you've you got to do this. I'm the one that's got to leave when that happens. I have to make the decision for myself that I'm not going to put up with any more abuse there. Okay, it's bad enough what they do, but I'm not going to go there and expose myself to abuse from these people or or pretend that I believe they're let bygones be bygones when five minutes later they're on a hate channel saying the most vile, nasty things about myself and others. Okay? But if people will open their eyes and see this is what she did the last time, she infiltrates a community, it's all manipulation, and then in the end, they don't want to be there. In the end, they're going to leave. When they come and, and conquered and destroyed that community and, and put people at odds with each other, then they will leave and they will say, well, we try to have peace, but, you know, those people could not let bygones be bygones, so we left. We left. 
And that's what's happening here. But the reason I'm saying this is because I saw the people that were in that chat today. I saw them. And I'll bring your attention to what I'm going to bring your attention to right now as I saw when I went up the stairs. Okay? So just hang on a minute because I am so sickened by being called out when I don't even go to this person's channel and it shows up in my feed because they're tagging my freaking name and I'm getting notifications if I go to the darn bell that they're tagging me the same way this other hate channel is tagging me every single day and it's disgusting. Don't tag me in your crap. Because I don't want it. This channel Save the Drama is everything but saving the drama. They're saving the drama for one person, and that's Natasha. And they're creating it for everyone else. I'm trying to get to the uh, mentions here. Save the drama. Here's my mentions, okay? There it is. Mentions. Save the drama. Mention me. Some piece one day, but stop using Natasha as a punching bag for your grief at Mommy Rambling's blog. What? Okay, let's view the post now. These are the people that want peace. Hey, Merb, keep your stupid arse raging ramblers over there. Go decoupage some stones or something, would ya? Are you aware that I have heard almost every creator say the same thing, but you only go at NC for it? Why is that? Your loss is horrific, and I would never want to be in your shoes, but that does not give you a lifetime pass to be a total biatch and treat people the way you want. No one brings him. Oh, boy, I'd like to... I'd like to... <laughs> oh, boy. This is so hard for me to read this right now. This is so damn hard for me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I can't even read the rest of that sentence because you know what? Don't talk about my son with your filthy mouth. Have you apologized for saying it was karma when the firecracker exploded in her daughter's face? No, I didn't. You want to know why? I never said that. That's you perpetuating that lie. Go listen again to what I said. I didn't say that. I never said that. Leave me alone. I've already explained that, and you don't care about spreading lies. You want to have people hate me. That's what you're here to do. Should Natasha use that in every fight? No, she shouldn't, because it never happened. It never freaking happened. I pray you can find some peace one day, but stop... 
Nobody's using Natasha as a punching bag. She used me. She's the only person that used someone here. She used me over, over, and over again. And now you're both using my son and my grief. So because somebody here, you don't even show their name, wrote something, right? Because somebody here wrote something, this is Merb. This is a reason you go out and attack me and bring up my deceased son. This is why YouTube needs to enforce their terms of service. For people like this. So what did got you all upset? What got you all upset that you couldn't even post this person's whole post? So if they're really grieving, who would be on YouTube for hours? You found that disgusting or a, some other nasty word and will continue to use when dragging MRB through the mud every time you get a chance. Maybe this is the very first time you have lost a loved one and you actually feel pain. Is that the case? And are you not able to have empathy for someone who lost one that they gave birth to? picked up when they scraped their knee, watched grow up and have that never-ending unconditional love for them, lose them? If you were truly incapable of sympathy, empathy for others who have suffered losses in the past and you are now feeling something one hundredth of what a mother feels losing a child, you must feel so ashamed of yourself and grovel at the feet of the human you treated like garbage and almost pushed over the edge. If not, you're so much worse than most of us ever thought possible. How could you feel so sorry for yourself? I can't read the rest. I don't know what happened, but do you want to see the hated incited? Let's look at these very people that were in the country, Joe. Here we go. Darcy Miller was in the country, Joe, if I remember correctly. Merb needs serious mental health evaluation. She continues to spiral day in and day out. Sadly, if her so-called supporters cared anything about her, they would stop condoning her behavior. I have to say, grief is a horrible thing. We all deal with it differently, but when grief makes a person become evil... I am not evil. I can't, yeah, I can't take this. I cannot freaking take these people and how disgusting they are. They are so disgusting. Country Joe, if you cannot see what is going on here, these people don't want peace. They don't want bygones to be bygones. What they want is me to kill myself. What they want is me to kill myself. She sat up there and said it a hundred times. What she wants for me is to disappear. She will never stop. Her people will never stop. They don't want peace. They want to argue. They want to say the loss of a child is like any other loss. You know what I can say to them? It's obvious they haven't experienced the loss of a child. And you know what? Sadly, sadly, as those of us who have lost a child found out, it doesn't discriminate. It doesn't discriminate, meaning that people will lose a child. Maybe some of these very people. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. What I'm trying to say is the stark reality of it is it happens. And nobody knows who it's going to happen to next, but it happens. None of us thought it would happen to us, okay? We thought there for the grace of God go I every time something happened. But you know what? Then it happens. So, until it happens to you, there's no way you even can understand how it feels. And I have suffered loss before this, and I will tell you, I lost my parents. I've lost aunts and uncles, grandparents. Nothing is like the loss of a child. Nothing. We all deal with it differently, but when grief makes a person become evil, that is not a good thing for anyone around that person. But you don't mind being around an evil person, do you, Darcy? Because you're around them every single day. 
Do I know what it's like to lose a child? No, I don't. I am sure of, I am sure of no deceased family member of anyone wants to be used for hatred. My son is not used for hatred. You're using my son. You are. All that is being done by Merb and others, you might want to take a step back and ask yourself if you're tarnishing the legacy of your loved ones by mentioning them while spewing hate. I'm not spewing hate. And my son is not being used for anything. You, except by you people. DA, another one. She is so selfish that she's unable to step back and look at the situation with a rational way of thinking. Her constant way of throwing the loss in everyone's face is destroying the memory of her son. Really? Am I the one? Am I the one that's sitting there live after live after live after live begging, begging for money, begging for money? She has used him as a weapon. When did I use my son as a weapon? Only people that manipulate the way your leader does would even think of that. I love my son. I will mention my son and my loss whenever I want. I will never stop talking about my son. So get used to it. And it's said because I love my son. Not because he's a weapon, but it's because the loss is so great. You are clueless. You you. You live under an emotional manipulator. You know nothing. You don't know how to think for yourself. And all you do is you're the one spewing hatred. Her constant way of throwing the loss in everyone's face is destroying the memory of my son. No, it's not. You don't have a memory of my son. You never knew my son. Don't tell me. Get my son, his name, his memory out of your freaking mouth because you don't have any right to speak on my son. His memory is beautiful. His memory is not tarnished at all because I'm the keeper of his memory, not you. You knew nothing of my son. She has used him as a weapon against so many that people's sympathy almost turns into contempt. No, you're trying to explain your anger, your hatred, your spewing. No one that loved my son and had sympathy for the loss ever felt like it turned to contempt. Not because they don't feel her pain, but because they're fed up with her blaming everyone in the world for her loss. Who have I blamed? Those of you, who have I blamed? You people are sick. We get it. She's mad. But her loss is no more important than anyone else's. I really hope you don't have to find out that the loss of a child is a loss like no other DA. I really hope because that is the most false statement I've ever seen. She is not this special person that is allowed to blame her problems onto others. What am I blaming my son's loss onto you who I don't know and don't want to know? She obviously needs to get help dealing with her loss. You obviously need to get help talking about a situation you don't know and being a part of a cult. This is not the way to deal with it. She's just creating more issues by the way she's handling it. Just like what she's doing to her son's memory is what she's going to do to her reputation. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to, I've already, I've already covered that. Don't talk about my son's memory nor my reputation because both are upstanding. Your leader's the one that needs to worry about that. It is her life containing her issues. People are not obligated to bow to her for the rest of time. People that used, see, this is what I said. When my son died, I said, it would seem these people are jealous. And it, it was the most unimaginable thing for me to comprehend that these people could really want a loss 
because they thought it could be used as some kind of leverage in something. Only somebody so sick, dark, and twisted would even think that. But the fact that when they have a loss, that it seems that's exactly what they're doing, and then having their people go out and try to put that vileness onto someone else, especially the mother, a grieving mother, is sick. No, we're not using a loss. Other people use losses. Okay, we've seen it. We've all seen it. But that's not me. So stop putting your disgustingness on me and go talk to your leader about that. Your eyes need to be opened. Yours, DAs. People used to just ignore her constant negativity. What constant negativity? Because you say something doesn't make it true. Now, not watching her is not enough. You see what they're saying? Not watching me. They want me gone. They want me gone. People are drawing lines in the sand. Stop or I'm afraid you are bringing out feelings in people you might not be able to take. Do you see that veiled threat that I may not be able to take? Why? What's going to be done? What is going to be done to me? What is going to be done to me? What is going to be done to me? How can this be allowed? How can any of you let this happen and, let, and stand by these people? Country Joe, you're here. Do you see this? These are the very people that were in your chat today. Today. After they wrote this. This is why I tried to tell you. I can't be there anymore. There are veiled threats here. Very real veiled threats right here. Bring out feelings in people that you may not be able to take. Your content attacking of people is making it very difficult to not do the same or worse to you. Did you read that? My content attacking people? My content attacking people? I'd never gone out to attack anyone. Your content attacking of people is making it very difficult to not do the same or worse to you. You have reached out to creators to help you with your quest, but you are so consumed, it's not enough. Well, I, yes, you're right. You believe some guy that smokes so much showed you one side of the story and didn't tell you. You got one side. There's always... Three sides to any story. But keep believing the lies. <laughs> well, those people have turned on you. Instead of a little self-realization, you double down. The reason your channel is tanking is only because of one person. That person is you. Here's Mrs. Livebird. A lot of these people that always say they've lost a child, they're not even real, and the situation isn't even real. The situation isn't even real, so, but they use it. They use this, and you see that it has nine replies. This, this person may have not even lost a child. I've seen this happen over and over, and they're fake accounts and, and fake people. I have lost a child. I would never dare treat another human so bad. Grief, who have I treated so bad. It is all lies. They want people to believe these lies about me so they don't come to the channel, so they don't come to me, so they don't even come. It's all a manipulation. They are manipulators that are outrageous. This is why people felt it was a safe place when they weren't there.
These people, this is what's in their hearts. Okay? Grief is not just losing a child. We can grieve anything or anyone that loses their life. The lies you spew are absolutely disgusting, Merb. Natasha has never mentioned your son. That's on you, lady. That's a lie. And we've gone over that multiple times. Please get some psychic. My kids are coming in now. This is great. Hold on. I, I need a minute. I need a minute. Hold on. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna try to, I can't just got him. All right, I'm gonna try to just. So, um, I've already gone through this and yes, my son was mentioned and my son, a video was played. We all know what she said after that, that she would do the same thing. We all know that, stop it, stop it. Please get some psychiatric help and proper grief counseling. Don't tell me about my grief counseling. You don't know my therapist. You don't know what I'm doing. You don't know what I'm doing. We can see the struggle and it's turned. They just want me off. They want me off and they want to convince people that I am a hateful, vile person. And that I'm mentally disturbed. And that's what they want and they want me off. That's all this is. That's all this is. They're the ones with the hate. I don't have the hate. They have the hate. It's eating them alive. And it's turned your nasty, soulless, almost, but all it's doing is eating you up inside. This Everything they're saying is what's happening to them. They're the ones that are nasty and soulless, and they are the ones that are eaten up inside every single day and so freaking miserable. We have all got family, home, work activities, social lives that we do, but you just sit in a kitchen for six to 12 hours ranting. No, I don't. No, I don't. That's your leader. Life is so short and precious. There is a beautiful world. Go see it and enjoy it. As a grieving mom to another, get help. What are you doing, Miss Lovebird? And I doubt, I doubt very highly anything here. How did you write this six hours ago and seven hours ago is the response? Is something wrong with that picture or not? How can you respond to something before it was written? How can you respond to something before it was written? Interesting. Thank you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, I've seen this happen over and over and over again. People will use this and then they will use it to rip apart somebody. That's all. The only reason they do that is to give credibility to what they're saying. Here, this is what another nasty, nasty woman, Country Joe. She needs a 5150, even before her 56th birthday. These people think I'm turning 56 on my next birthday. It's so sad. It's so sad, sick and twisted, but that's another thing Natasha has them believe. She's so upset about her own age and the way she looks that she puts that onto me and has to call me an old hag and has to age me several years. I'm not turning 56 on my next birthday. A good, good one. She needs something for sure. I need something for sure. You see that? This hatred for Natasha needs to stop. I've said it a million times. It's not hate that I have for Natasha, and you won't even listen to it. 
I've been in a live today that I normally wouldn't go into, and it was so full of Merb subs and OMG. The hatred in them is absolutely disgusting. It's the lies that get me so wound up. I just wanted to vomit. See, that's what we have to contend with. Their hatred and their lies. And they turn it around. I watched the same, same live. <coughs> a few bitter, horrible women just kept digging, digging, digging. Seeing you timed out a, quite a few times for an opinion. I'll say one of those mods is vile. Lots of us were being timed out. One of the mods was the worst for the lying. The hypocrisy of the whole thing. It's so hard not to speak up. I know Natasha has asked us not to, but I can't find... You're a lie. You're a lie, Miss KK. Natasha's behind this whole thing. She is the puppeteer of all of you little puppets that can't think for yourselves. There's another one that was in there. Right, it's hard to take someone serious who's knitting a sweater for her 20-year-old grandson who will most likely accidentally throw it in the fire at a frat party. All of my grandparents are in heaven, bless their hearts, but when they were alive, if I saw that they were, I think she means knitting, a shirt like that on YouTube, I would shite my pants while I shite theirs. Now, what is she talking about? Who is knitting a sweater for their 20-year-old grandson? Certainly not me. I don't have a 20-year-old grandson. But if somebody was knitting a sweater for their 20-year-old grandson, what would be wrong with that? Here's here, Country Joe. She was there. She wanted... She wanted, she is, is the most nasty person, and I can show you channel after channel where she's leaving hate comment after hate comment about me, and begging for new videos, hate videos to be made. Well said. MRB was on YouTube minutes after she heard her son had, no, no, Jerry, and I've heard from you before, I was on before. She was on YouTube that night. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. The next day, multiple times throughout the day and night. Wow, you're sick, Jerry. You're a sick puppy. I know because I was there. I haven't read the rest of the comment posted in the screenshot and probably won't. It's so sick of only MRB can do this or that or grieve a loved one. You were there. Are you aware of the total truth? To hear her tell it, none of her members ever supported her like we are supporting Natasha and her family's loss. It's not a contest, but seems to be chastising people for their compassion. Sick. I completely agree. It's sickening, but I shouldn't be surprised. Sickening. I can't say this often enough. She is nasty AF. Jealousy at its finest. Another buffoon constantly on about Natasha's live. The last four to five hours about Natasha and GW. I'd never even mentioned either of these people in the last four to five hours. Definitely has lost it. FSS. Enough is enough, MRB. I'm so sick of that shield being used. Sorry, not sorry. Someone needs to say it, but no one wants to. Stop exploiting and using your son's passion passing as a shield and a campaign. Seriously, enough is enough. I know I'm not the only one sick of it. Freddie, she lied today. Said BX was a liar when he had the proof of her emails. And also don't forget that she gave a video to Dorothy to referencing GW. She's a snake. Check it out. Carolyn's deleted comments channel is an eye opener. The channel she's talking about is the one that's using a company in the UK that's going to get sued now because they're using it as their channel owner. Thanks for outing them, Suzanne. 
Where would I find that? These people are behind that. Make my brain explode, though. 175 stamp. She on Granny's watching. Proof. Granny, Granny gave proof that Merb sent the video. Really? Eyes with soul. The channel's name is Carolyn's Deleted Comments. Yeah, the one that's using the glitter company. Mm hmm Right. Pink, I agree with you. She's the one who's exploiting her child. Her and only her. Then the children she has get ignored because she would rather be and moan and judge others throwing her loss in everyone's face. When am I doing that? Taking for granted the family she still has. Merv, maybe try to consider someone besides yourself. It's making people really disgusted with you. It's no longer being ignored. Enough is enough. We're over it. If it doesn't stop, we'll be over you too. Who are you? DA, you're not somebody that's even ever been for us. You're so full and consumed with hatred. This is what you want. This is what you want. Melissa, she was over there, Country Joe. She was over there today. This woman needs help. The kind you can't get on YouTube. All they want, Country Joe, is for me to go away. They want me to kill myself. They want me to get off YouTube. They want to destroy me and everything I've worked to build. They want to destroy my family's well-being. They're, this is our livelihood. That's what they want. That's what they want. Cat, she was over there too, Country Joe. If you think these people are good. A little louder for the ones in the back. Regina, sweet thing. I can guarantee you she's anything but sweet. Merv, stay in your own gross channel. Natasha never said anything about your son. This is your mental health herb issue, Merb. You need to talk. You talk about him all the time. You're damn right I will talk about him whenever I want. And I don't talk about him all the time on YouTube because it hurts too much. It still hurts too much. But I will talk about him as much as I want, whenever I want. How dare you try to silence me? How dare you try to silence me? If she does it all the time, surely you can find proof. Oh, hold on. This is, hold on. You still talk about him all the time. You don't know reality from mental health issues. You need help, Merb. This is another nasty, and she's on the other nasty channels, too, that they were talking about it there. Instead of trying to convince these raging ramblers, issue a challenge instead, another manipulation tactic. Please find where Natasha has spoken. Jolie, you know they're not going to find it because she deleted the videos. Jolie, how stupid. You really, you really think everyone is so stupid, and you count on that. So that's why they delete in private the videos. She wants you to find it. I have the videos, and we are going to make them. We're going to find the right database to make them all available so that nobody forgets. Nobody forgets. Please find where Natasha spoke ill of MRB's son's death. She did it in the very live two days ago, and I have that one if anybody didn't see it. She said, I didn't say I'm not sorry for his death. I said she uses it for attention. And she's evil. Evil woman. That's what she said when she was in such pain over the, her, the loss of her aunt. She was still spewing evil still doing it so jolie they're not going to find it because they took the videos down i have them if she does it all the time surely you can find proof well i think the one where she said that is still up jolie 
Do you need help finding it? Email me. I'll give you a timestamp. Email me, Jolie. I'll give you a timestamp. Once you have proof, then and only then can you comment. Who are you to tell anybody what to do, Jolie? Until then, keep Merb's lies to yourself. They're not lies. And quit polluting the comments with that Merb shite. Do you know how many times I asked that lady? She has never shown a receipt. You guys are beyond help. You guys are beyond help. I show receipts all the freaking time and I have every video. And she will never because no, this, this is all a campaign to convince the people that didn't see it that it doesn't exist. If you guys saw that that exists, type a one up in the chat, please. And she never will because none exists. She thinks if she repeats things enough, it makes them true. This is what she's doing. Do you see that everything they're saying is everything they're doing? This is what they're doing. If they repeat this enough that there's nothing there, if they repeat it enough, you'll believe it. She's giving you a clue. It's like, it's like a criminal's confession. Usually, the things they say they aren't doing or didn't do are the very things they did, right? So this is what she's saying. If we repeat this enough, we will make it true. Freddie, you will be told by ramblers that Natasha has deleted the lives that she has done it on. I was told that many times. See, they're trying to get that out there that she didn't even delete them. You see how, do you see this manipulation or you don't see this manipulation? You will be told by ramblers that she has deleted them. Has she deleted the lives? 100% privated them. And the ones show you've seen it and you know she deletes them and privates them. They're trying to tell you it didn't happen. They're treating everyone like a moron, okay? I was told that many time in Dorothy's today. But Merb admits she records everything, so why isn't she showing it? You'd love me to show it so she could strike me, right, Jolie? I'm not going to show it on my channel. I just told you. We're going to work on finding a database where we can put that out there for everyone to see that can't get struck down. We all know Merv has receipts for everything, yet she can't produce which should be the most important one. I'm not buying it. Of course she's blaming Natasha for deleting lies. Everything is Natasha's fault, don't you know? This is sick. This is sick. Who's the author of that? Asked this person. Where can I see the original? It was on NC's page. But I think she, oh, see, it's gone now, folks. It's gone now. So you don't even know who wrote it. It's gone now. And did you ever notice they, they, they write something, take a screenshot, and it's gone? Don't you think they might write some of this stuff themselves to fill up their narrative? Yeah. Yeah, it's gone now. You can't know. They have things to hide. Why didn't they show the person's name? They have things to hide. She is one I can see too, and I'm not mistaken. She didn't take a break herself. They're talking about Natasha. So this one said, I rambled on, so I edited it to keep it short and simple. She is one I can see too, and I'm not mistaken. She didn't take a break herself. They're talking about Natasha taking a break after her aunt passed away. I was not around when all this happened, but if I was... I would have been right there and supporting her just like any other creator or sub. Huh. I was there. Everyone supported her with the exception of, well, you know. I left as a rambler when she started going off on NC, if you can believe that. Who didn't... Uh, going off on her? First of all, new account, who this? 
I didn't go off on her. I took and ate what she put out there for months. For months. Until my son was brought up in a video, and then that was it. I never attacked her. I never sought her out. I never went after her. Who didn't support her? Serious question. Not being sarcastic. Just wondering. Initials are okay. Well, there were a few. I'm not naming names. It's all resolved and several are back with her. Well, NC was not around then. She started in November 2020. So, so how would she know to help? Maybe I'm wrong, but in her raging video, she said no one supported her. So who's lying? You are. Asking for a friend. You may want to go watch that video again. Dude, I'm on your side with this. I was just appalled to hear it as everyone. Oops, my bad. Sorry I'm on edge. It's okay. It happens. Isn't that an insult to her mods, members, and subs? From what I understand, she made mega bucks. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. To whoever apparently wanted their name in lights and tried to prove their unfailing loyalty to MRB or simply as a case of the but for NC by authoring the above post, to most any well-adjusted human being, the sight of someone attempting to rank the grief of others is quite frankly obscene. Here you ask, are you not able to have empathy for someone who lost one they gave birth to, picked up when they scraped their knee, watched grow up, and, never, and have never-ending unconditional love from them? lose them? My friend, you do not have a window into the hearts of the relationships of this family. You have no idea what connects them or how it connects them. You have no idea about their joys, their sorrows, their history as a family. Do you? But you should know one thing. NC's dear grandma gave birth and did all those things for her precious daughter whom she has lost. There is an elderly woman who is frail in health right now who will bury her child this week and whose heart is crushed and yet you attempt to badger and scold the very person who is taking care of her and who is also grieving herself. You're right. MRB didn't ask for a dime. NC didn't ask for a dime. Oh my gosh. She created the very accounts that asked for more than a dime and has kept creating them. And she is on what, her fifth fundraiser? Are you clueless, Sunflower? MRB subs offered it up. NC subs offered it up. You are so wrong. You are so wrong. Who are you to place a value on a human life by assigning a score to a human life? or a human life within the context of eternity and values each and every life he put on this earth, no matter how long it's lived. Don't get me wrong. I understand that you posted on behalf of a mother who deeply grieves and will grieve for the rest of her life. I understand that you're responding to her pain and suffering. However, when you post on a public comment section without exercising self-control like you guys do, ignoring facts like you guys do, while hurling accusations and vitriol at another human who is grieving, you're not acting as a good representative for MRB. Nobody was asked to represent me. Eyes was very well said. Here's Earthbound. She didn't compare her loss to Natasha's loss. What she did is bring up how Natasha wants compassion from everyone, even though she has not shown compassion to others. Sunflower Brown, I'm a mom who has lost her child, so I come from that place. Humility and kindness is something that's missing from Natasha and you all. Don't talk about anyone else's reactions if you refuse to expect Expect the same level of compassion, humility, and kindness from Natasha. And then she comes out and says, do you realize who you're talking to? You don't remember me. Humility and kindness is missing from Natasha and you all. Do you include me in that assertion?
But that's it. Hopefully you can see Country Joe that they, and I could show you channel after channel. I can show you the, the preacher's channel where they're, they're begging, they're begging for the next hate video to drop. Even though they know that this person is calling for CPS to be called on my family, calling for the police to be called on my family. They're doing whatever they can to make me disappear. Don't ever forget that. They show you who they are, and now it's for everyone to decide. You can do whatever you want, Country Joe. That's your channel. But there's a reason that I can't chat there anymore, and there's a reason that others can't. It's not a safe place anymore. You've got this abuser, Natasha, who's abused me over and over and over and over again. You've got these liars there. I have to make a decision that, for me, is a healthy one. And, and, and being there with them is not healthy. But I want you to see that they're completely using you, Country Joe. And they've ripped apart your community. And now she is using your channel as a platform. And today she had one of her people up there. Do you see this? This is total manipulation from them. They destroyed your community. It's sad. It's so sad. Scooter and I were looking at that today, and we just said it's so sad. It used to be a place where we had fun. But don't be mistaken, these people don't want peace. I could give you a list of other channels where they're spewing hatred too. Where they're, they're egging on creators that are creating these horrible hate videos full of lies. And they're begging for them to be dropped. They're talking about their, their selves, what's inside them and everyone. They always talk about hatred. I don't have hatred. I don't have hatred because I truly believe you have to have such a, such a strong emotion that you have to love someone so much and they have to hurt you so much in order to hate them. I don't hate these people. I think they're evil. I don't want to be near them. But it's not that I have a consuming hate. Do you understand that? It's a different thing. These people have a hatred. They have a hatred. They have a bitterness and they want to be out of here. They want me out of here. And they're not going to stop. Unless they're made to stop by YouTube enforcing their terms of service or something happens to bring that about. <laughs> but this is why, Country Joe, I want you to see this is why. That this is why that's all a farce. This is why it's all a manipulation from her. She's the puppet master. She pulled those strings. They all came in and she always says the same thing. Oh, I just came in here because my mods just told me to go in there. They said, I have to go in there. What's going on here? I don't know. She did the exact same thing when she went into Truth Tellers. And she was ready to come on your panel, Country Joe, and finish it off the same way she did on Truth Teller. She doesn't like you, Country Joe. She wants you gone as well. She wants your community destroyed. She's doing it under the guise that she's reaching out and she's kind.
But if you look close, you'll see the actions of everyone in those in that chat is spewing hate. And they were all ready to get up and leave. That's all part of the plan. They don't have to stay there. They don't have to stay there. That's why they were saying, Country Joe, well, we tried, but if we're not welcome here, we're just going to go. We're not going to stay anywhere where, where NC is not um, accepted. <sighs> Sally is a mouthpiece for her. Exactly, Rosalita. That's exactly what she said about, I never really liked her. I never trusted her. She used her like she uses everyone. I don't think she's capable of really caring about someone. I don't. Sorry. It's, it, I, it's, I've seen it over and 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 over again. the same pattern then she hangs them out to dry oh I never liked them anyway never trusted them So anyway, you know, I, I will tell you, just like with anything, if the shoe was on the other foot and it was they that lost a child and anybody was doing any of this to them, if you think they would handle it the way that I've tried to handle it, you are so mistaken because they are the ones that believe grief should be used for manipulation as a weapon. The fact that they say that shows that's what they think. Because anybody that really watches me and anybody that knows me knows I don't do that. And anybody that watches me knows that I don't bring up my son all the time because it's so incredibly painful. But when I get to a point that I want to talk about him, I will talk about him every minute of the day if I want. And these people think they're going to silence me because they say if I talk about my son that I'm doing it for guilt and sympathy. That's just sick. That's just sick. If I want to talk about him, I'll talk about him. And if it's too painful, I won't. But to think that I'm not going to talk about my son who's my best friend. Is out of, out of this world. He'll always be my son. The memories we've made will always be there. He's always going to be a part of my life and I will never stop talking about him. <laughs> He is with me 
right now. And I will never stop talking about him when I want to, when I can without breaking down, when I feel comfortable because it's sick people like this that then put his name and his memories in their mouth and act like they've known him. They didn't know him at all. No, I don't know, Earthbound. I did not think you did anything wrong. Absolutely not. I understand your response. I don't think you did anything wrong at all. <laughs> I, I just can't even believe I literally was going upstairs. I was sad about what happened. I saw what happened. I knew what she was doing. And I also knew it was the way it would end. I knew the way it would end. It's going to end the same way, same way that Truth Teller ended. That's why that woman was trying to get you back on their panel, Country Joe. She put her up there to make sure you go to the next karaoke night. They were love bombing you. They were there love bombing you while they were destroying your community, while they were destroying that safe place that so many people love to go and talk in. She was laughing and she came right into the chat and they were just testing the waters to try to get up there on the panel. Shauna, you didn't say anything wrong, Shauna. They're, they're saying you said something wrong. You didn't say anything wrong. To them, it was wrong. What you said to them was wrong because it didn't fit their narrative. But anyone can see where you were coming from and anyone knows that I didn't tell you to do that. And they don't understand that because they have to be told everything, just like they were all told to go to Country Joe and what to say. They don't know what it is like to really care about someone and stand up for someone when you see something wrong being done. They don't know that, Shauna. You didn't say anything wrong. Earthbound didn't say anything wrong. Everything they said there is wrong, is evil, is nasty, it's disgusting. I know, Shauna, that's because you're a good person and you do what's right and you stand up when people are attacked unjustly. That's easy to see. They can't see it or they, they don't want to see it because they are convinced by a cult leader that what they're doing is right, that that hate that they're spewing is right and just. Anyway, I, I'm going to go. My, my son just, just got home from basketball, and we're going to go have dinner. But this is, this is horrible. Why, why, do, why is it okay that they do this and then lie and say they want peace and people pretend this doesn't happen? <laughs> and Kay Bay, thank you for becoming. I just think you, you just became a member. Thank you so much. I just did not know it would make the psychos come out like this. 
but it show you, you you expose them for who they are. When someone tells you who they are, believe them. Natasha showed us who she is. Her people show us who they are. Day after day after day. Stop tagging me. Let me give you a hint. You say you want peace. You don't want it, we know. But I'm going to tell you something. As a grieving mother, stop tagging me in your hate channels. That goes for you, Preacher Channel. It goes for you, Save the Drama. Stop tagging me. Because that's abuse. I'm saying right now, I want you to stop tagging me. Anybody in YouTube knows that when you tag me, as I just showed you, it goes to my notifications. I'm saying right now, stop tagging me. If you continue to do it, it's going to show you are harassing me. That it's targeted harassment. Stop tagging me. Tagging me and then insinuating things that could make a person do something to themselves, self-harm themselves. Stop tagging me. <laughs> well, I don't know if you want to help. Please, if you can get that video and share it out, tag anyone. As long as someone, you know, just get it out there. Tag every media, tag the Sun, tag the Daily Mail, tag the Daily News. It doesn't matter. Just please keep sharing it. Please. It's not legal, Robin. It's not. They need to enforce their terms of service, but since they're not doing it, this is, this is, this is abuse. This is why it has to be called out enough times that they're going to be sick of it. Enough people, it just takes the right person to see it. And I have to get the name of that center that's suing Instagram for that other mother. I have to get them tagged in this thing. The video that I made the other night, Aurora, let me get the link to it. Hold on. Is it possible that's the... Hold on, that you guys haven't seen that? I'm also going to get a blog post written on, on both of my blogs that can be tweeted out with that video linked in it. I'm going to try to get that written up so we can get that going too. And I've got uh, other things coming that we can get these out in the meantime. Let me hold on a minute. I don't even know. I can't even think straight. What I'm trying to do, I'm trying to go to YouTube and I can't even freaking think straight. It's this, I'm going to give, I'm going to put the link. It's this video, please share this video out wherever you can, as many times as you can, every single day. You want to tag, one of the, is you want to do this, you have to do, um, at team YouTube. That is important. Everything else from there, you can start tagging the other things. You, you put a tag as you're doing your Twitter, and if you did like NBC, it'll come up. NBC Dateline, and uh, you know, The Sun, the Daily, I, I don't care, just get it out. Local, um, your local senators, you know, I, your legislators, anyone that will listen, victims, advocates, anything, just, just keep tweeting it out there, as many people as possible. 
You, it can't just be one day. It's got to be constant, 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 constant. Rose gold. Um, there's a, hold on. There's a link in the video description. It should be. This should work. If I'm, thank you, rose gold. I appreciate that. Uh, try this. Hold on. Try that, Rose Gold. Thank you. Hi, Vintage Gal. It is enough, Utter Nutter. It is totally enough. And I feel, I feel strong that we are going to be heard this time. Okay? I also, I already have the one media outlet that wants me on. And like I said, this time I'm going to do that one. But we need to get this out even further. We need this out there as much as we can. It's the only way it's going to be looked at. That's the only way. It's always the squeaky wheel gets the grease. Usually someone has to get really deeply hurt or killed before they take a look at anything. But Facebook just had someone that had a live stream where he killed his ex-girlfriend and then he killed himself. So social media is under fire it's going to be soon that they're not going to be able to just let anyone go live at any time they're going to have to have accounts verified they have to people i mean when we were going to look back on this time we're going to say i can't believe someone could just fire up an account and go live and there was nothing behind it to even prove who that person is or have any accountability. We are going to say, I can't even believe it used to, you know, they used to do that. Just the same way you say, I can't believe they used to smoke in hospitals. You'll say, I can't believe that nobody even had to verify a YouTube account and they could go live. You know, that there was nobody that was even listed and they could open account after account after account to harass and do everything to someone. Thank you very much, Rose Gold, for becoming a member. I appreciate that. Yeah, Jeanette. Anyway. It's okay. It exposed them. Shauna, it exposed every one of them for their hateful hearts and the hateness, the hate, the hate and the bitterness that's inside them, the hateness, the hate and bitterness that is inside of them. And everything they said about me is all what's wrong with them. So you, you, Expose them for who they are. Hi, Carol Clark. We just have to keep tweeting it. I'm going to get that other... Um, I know they're not on Twitter. That's the problem. They're not on Twitter, but they're on Facebook. So if you share it on Facebook, let me get that for you right now. Hold on a minute. I'll get that. Let me get that. Um, Oh my gosh, look at this. What is this about? I was looking up that, the case of uh, the woman that's, that those people are suing Instagram for, and it said, a social media influencer in Dallas-Fort Worth scammed thousands of clients whom she sold fitness and nutrition plans to, according to a new lawsuit from the Texas Attorney General. Brittany Dawn Davis has close to 1 million TikTok followers and half a million on Instagram where she shares fitness and health tips. She also runs a YouTube channel with nearly 250,000 subscribers, but the Texas Attorney General's office has filed a Deceptive Trade Practices Act lawsuit against Davis, claiming she never provided any of the personal coaching promised and that the plans weren't customized. So... When complaints started in 2019, she posted, okay, so she's being sued because she didn't provide the services that she promised them. But that's a start. That's a start. But that's not the one I'm talking about. But that was just interesting to see that one. Um, 
this is the one I'm pretty sure over the yeah with the death of her daughter okay so now there's two lawsuits but this is the it's called the social media victims law center and let me see their social media they have a Facebook page but they don't have a Twitter so the thing to do to reach out to them this is their website that I'm going to put in here um, that's their website and then I know they have a Facebook page Here's the Facebook page. And if you post the video on Facebook, you can tag them in that video, please, if, if you're so inclined. There's their Facebook page. Sure, Lisa, absolutely, I, I yeah. You certainly can. You certainly can. Anywhere we can get the word out. Any, any, anywhere we can get the word out. Trolls can contact them. What is that going to do, Snow? I don't understand. I was not referring to this channel as scamming. Okay, thank you, Zoe. I don't know what happened, but okay. But anyway, that's... That's what's going on, and hopefully, Country Joe, you can understand what she's doing. I hope that you can see it. But it's very obvious that they're not doing what they said. It's okay, Zoe. Oh, you're being sarcastic. Okay, gotcha. Snow remover, okay. Well, I'm going to go take a... I'm going to go with the family. I'm going to take a hot shower. I'll be on later. Hi, Video Reel. How are you? It just... It was... Uh, please stop tagging me. All of you hate channels. Save the drama. Real. All of you, stop tagging me. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love, your understanding, and thank you. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much. I'll be on later. How do I end this? Let me see.